Hello to the mound. Hi, everybody. Whew. Let's wait for a few people to come on and visit with us. Bonjour. Hello. I see some eyes. So, oh, there's a few of you here. Hello, Coco. Hello, Coco. Hello, Marie France. I hope you're starting to feel better. Hello, Pauline. Eliane. Hi, Suzanne. I forgot to go back and check which die you said that was. I just realized that. Facebook changed something that I have a harder time seeing the comments after the fact. Hi, Diane. Hi, Jane. So, hello, Pascal. Bonjour, Lise. So hi everybody. So here's the thing. Today we had two more people bring us ATC cards. Then of course Ariel was here with some beautiful samples and Marie's dropped me off a beautiful little traveler's notebook the other day that I wanted to show you as well. So we're going to start with that and then I think I'm going to do a technique with you guys. Okay. So that's what we're going to do first. First, good news. This die, cette matrice-là, est de retour en stock. OK? Ariel a fait ces trois cartes-là vraiment beau. C'est avec cette matrice-là. Puis je pense que pour l'image, je peux l'emprunter, une des cartes d'Ariel, de pour, um, pour qu'il mette sur la couverture. Moi, je pense. So I think that we should, you know, send him one of these beautiful samples and maybe at Christmas time, because this is great all year long, but at Christmas time, I think Ariel should be on the front. Anyways, that's just my own personal preference. Okay. So here's what I was telling you about the Traveler's Notebook. So this is done by Marie's. And she used all sorts of the dies from Elizabeth Crafts. Donc ça, c'est le Traveler's Notebook de Elizabeth Crafts. Et elle a utilisé des matrices. Elle a fait un peu comme un junk journal. Pour ceux qui ne qui comprennent pas le junk journal, c'est vraiment un album fait avec des choses vintage, vieillies, uh, réutilisables. So, a junk journal, people use old envelopes, letters, cards, papers, and you build up something. It doesn't have to have pictures. It could be all sentiments. It can be just, I mean, it's just made with love, okay? So I think that this, she put in so much texture and washi tape and die cuts and tags the souhait, the sentiment, so all sorts of interesting English and French, okay, but all sorts of interesting dyes, ephemere. So really a beautiful, beautiful little book put together. If opportunity does not knock, build a door. Voila. So all this really, really nice. Okay, I'm loving all these different pages. Et ça, c'est tout fait avec les dailles. Jane, you know that. Tout fait avec les dailles de Els et de Elizabeth Craft. Pas de Els, parce que ceux-là, c'est de uh, Ilse et Ch uh, Charlene. Mais quand même, elle a fait beaucoup d'ajouts. Comme ça, c'est un morceau de Rick Rack. Okay? Une image, probablement juste une vieille photo. Okay, vintage images. She's got these beautiful pieces in here that were on acetates, unless those are rub-ons. And she's like me, she forgets to take the plastic off after she rubs them on. I do that. So, j'ai regardé un projet l'autre jour, puis j'ai dit, qu'est-ce qui brille dans mon projet? J'ai rien à ce tête. Puis j'ai vu, j'ai vu que j'ai oublié d'enlever le plastique de mon rub-on. Okay, so. This is not the case. This is actually stuck on, so, voila. So beautiful, beautiful 
little album. L'album est comme trois par cinq, mais il y a beaucoup, beaucoup de choses dedans, puis on peut le voir que c'était fait avec amour. So you can always tell when something was handmade and made with love. All right, so there we go. I showed you this, it's back in stock. I was very happy to see that's back in stock. He is not back in stock, but he may be in my boxes that finally came in from customs, okay? Which means by tomorrow, you guys should all get little um, emails saying that your mica sprays are here, okay? Donc demain, uh, Jay est ici maintenant, et demain, il travaille fortement de déballer les neuf ou onze boîtes qui viennent d'arriver de douanage. Okay, so um, here we've got Cozy Winter Dye, which I have to tell you, I think he was the best seller. I thought the count was, but Cozy Winter Bear and Winston, they flew out of here. Now look at this background. She used the cobblestone. That is coming back in stock too, and I ordered a bunch of them. So just keep an eye out for that. Okay, ça va revenir en ligne bientôt. So that's the cobblestone uh, background embossing folder. Look at how deeply, this is what's different about a 3D and uh, as Tim says, a multi-level embossing folder. Look how many different levels we see, okay? Donc on peut le voir des différents niveaux de gaufrage, OK? Ici, on peut voir ça, c'est vraiment trois dimensions. Et ceux-là à côté, c'est plus comme un deux dimensions. Donc, on voit que ça change complètement dans le fond, OK? And then just put ink over it, and it's magnificent. Hi, Robert. So, once we're talking about him, I have another sample. So, this one looks really... Um, let's say more vintagey and everything. And then you can brighten him up. And this poor bird, he should have little, um, il a besoin des petits uh, mittens pour ses pattes. He just needs little mittens there or something because I'm sure his feet are freezing on the ice. Okay, I think he, he needs something. Ariel, la prochaine fois, il faut qu'on mette quelque chose comme des petits bottes sur les pattes, juste pour qu'il gèle pas sur la glace. I know, I'm crazy, but it's very... Yes, I'm going to be showing the ATC cards too. We're just getting through these, and then we're going on to the two ATC cards, okay? So we are really getting heavy into this trading, guys. So this one too. So this is a lawn fawn tree, Okay. And she did three cards with it. Chacune, elle a fait une font différent. Donc, tu peux le voir. Ceux-là, c'est picoté. Ceux-là, ici, c'est les flocons en neige. Et celle-ci, c'est aussi les flocons en neige au, avec de craie ou de l'encre dessus. And that looks like it might have even been salvage patina. OK? So, three different cards done with that Christmas tree die. So, that's a lawn fawn die. Voilà, elle a fait, ça c'est les vines de lawn fawn. It was called Tropical Vines. Tropical Vines. Sur là ici, c'est le, le fond, c'est in the meadow. Oh, meadow backdrop, mais c'est le landscape. Et les cerises viennent de la collection Lawn Fawn, You Autumn Know. So, really, really cute. And I shouldn't tell you, but this meadow dye, si tu ne sais pas, c'est dans le 40% de rabais. So, you can find this meadow dye in 40% off. And then, we talked the other day when Suzanne did her backgrounds for her, well, the other day, yesterday, remember? On a parlé que, sorry, Suzanne a utilisé, what was the name of that embossing folder, Jay, the one with all the leaves on it? It was foliage? Je pense c'est foliage, okay? So that beautiful embossing there, 
C'est la même chose que Ariel a utilisé sur sa carte, sauf elle a mis beaucoup de couleurs dessus. So you can see how different yet the same they look. Une c'est juste élégant, puis l'autre est fun. Il y a beaucoup de couleurs chargées, but both of them are beautiful. Okay. So if you didn't buy that one yet, that is also coming back in very soon. Uh, Sizzix was supposed to be getting a big order today, so fingers crossed we have it all soon. Okay. Ça ici, ça c'est de um, polka doodles. Elle a utilisé la belle fille de polka doodles qui tient l'arc-en-ciel. Je l'adore. Ça c'est vraiment mon style. So, and the, je pense le souhait est sur les tempes aussi. So I'll go show that one to you. And then we've got our Lumberjack Santa here. Et lui aussi est hors de stock, mais il revient bientôt. Okay? And she used Tim's Swirling Stars in the back. That I believe we have in stock. It's called Swirling Stars Dye. Vraiment, vraiment beau. Okay? Jay, can you go up front to the polka doodles and just bring me this stamp set? All right, now let's talk about some of these ATC cards in polka doodles. You'll see this girl. Okay, so Dominic walked in also with a beautiful frame. And as you see, they've already been picked through because some people, some traders were here at the time. But just look at these. Tu peux le voir. Donc, elle a utilisé beaucoup, elle aime beaucoup, beaucoup. La poudre embossée ultra high doré. Ça vient de wow. Okay? So Dominic likes to stamp into ultra high embossing powder. And that's what you would need in order to get a good impression in there. Okay? L'impression. Donc tu le chauffes, tu le chauffes, tu mets quelques couches. Et quand c'est assez épais, tu le chauffes, tu prends une étampe. Um, en caoutchouc, puis tu mets un peu de Versamark dessus ou embossing ink et tu l'étampes. Et tu l'enlèves, puis tu vas le voir que tout ça va faire um, dans ton poudre. OK? So, uh, all of this is Tim Holtz. She said it's all from his stamp sets. Probably this is from his entomology. Um, that he has script stamp sets, he has the beautiful but butterflies, he has moths. Donc tout, tout, tout ça, c'est tout de Tim Holtz. Même mes bébites. Okay. So, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then, also, Odette was here at the same time, and she, okay, je sais que Dominique a laissé des enveloppes, si vous voulez mettre une dans une enveloppe. Odette aussi. So, you see what you got here? She used all sorts of wonderful, uh, des choses lustrées dessus, probablement des sprays ou des peintures. I love her little bonhommes. So, she was in definitely, uh, we've been in this Halloween kind of genre. Okay. So, vraiment beau. Halloween. Really, really, whoops, really cute little ATC cards. So, so much fun. And you had to see the girls all trading this morning. You fed these échanges de cartes. So, really, really, really beautiful. Okay, guys. So, I don't have anything to show you today because Jay actually had to work at his real job. Mais comme j'ai dit, on a reçu 9 à 11 boîtes hier. Il va commencer ça bientôt et continuer toute la journée demain. Et euh, par la vidéo demain, probablement, tu vas avoir tout euh, reçu un courriel qui dit que tes sprays de Noël sont arrivés. OK? And I did get Jay to bring us. So that's the beautiful stamp. You see that stamp? So that's the beautiful stamp Ariel used on here. Donc, on voit la fleur, on voit la fille avec l'arc-en-ciel, le cœur, 
et le Catch Your Own Rainbow. Ça vient tout de cette gamme des tempes. OK? So she's really, really cute. And then Polka Doodles, Puffy Cloud Backdrop. Ça, c'est de l'enfant. Les nuages de l'enfant. A mix and match dotty flowers. Sur la c'est de, stu de studio light. Et je pense que c'est de art by Marlene. OK? Maintenant, moi, je veux vous montrer un projet que j'ai fait avec Ken Oliver. Puis, je vais le refaire avec vous autres. So, this is on a watercolor panel. OK? So, this is great for water. It's not going to curb. Uh, this is a new stencil. I'm not even sure if we got ours in yet, but I know I've ordered it. And we are going to be using stencil butter, which you guys know I love. And then I'm going to use some of his powders on here. And then we're going to stencil on there too. Okay? So that's what I'm going to show you guys now. Hmm. We changed the arm yesterday for the video. And I'm going to have to... Jay, I need to fix the arm. I forgot we moved it yesterday. Okay. Just I can't get the... Uh, Okay. Something like that, maybe? Something to that effect. You'll have to really see if it... Uh... Oops. Sorry, guys. I'm try I was trying to rotate my phone, but it won't. And I don't want you looking at the ceiling. So, I'm going to put it in this way. But remember, I don't see your comments. Je vois pas les commentaires. Hey. There we go. Okay, so, you see that? I'm going to push my phone a little more, so hopefully you see more of it. Okay, can you see that? Est-ce que tout le monde peut le voir? Afraid it's going to... No, you're seeing too much of the back part, right? So let's go this way. Nope. Je m'excuse tout le monde. Je sais, je sais, je sais d'être certaine que tu peux le voir le projet. Mais on a changé le bras pour mon Maker Mania. Puis au moment, c'est plus ajust ajusté. So I'll do what I can. All right, so, premièrement, la première chose que j'ai faite, j'ai utilisé mon Pixie Spray pour affixer le pochoir parce que je veux que rien va en dessous. And then, we used our fingers in that class, and you know I love to do that, but I know you guys don't necessarily love that. So, I'm going to try and be a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to try and use a palette knife. But if it's not working for me, I will go back to using my fingers. Okay. So, on a utilisé le marigold. On a utilisé le gamboge. Actually, I don't have to turn them around, I think. And we used copper penny. But copper penny hasn't come in yet. Il peut arriver encore. Donc, moi, je pense que je vais le mettre crimson au lieu. Comme ça, c'est trois pro produits que j'ai en stock. So, this way, there's three colors that I do have in stock. Helen, I'm not sure if you are on here, but if you are, I found out that our cocktails tomorrow are at 8.30. For any of my maker maniacs who are on my video. So, I'm going to start with my lightest color. Je vais aller avec la couleur le plus pâle. C'est le jaune. And yes, you know that mine already have other colors in them. I'm sorry, yours won't. So, here's why she, he did it with his fingers. Because he just wanted to be able to go in different areas. So, we're just going to 
We're just going to do it this way. And then if I need to touch it up with my fingers, I will. Because we know I like to get my fingers dirty. Okay. So I've got some yellow there. Let's get a little yellow down here. Okay. The first color, la première couleur, est toujours le plus facile de mettre avec un couteau palette. Mais après ça, si je veux pas que les couleurs mélangent, peut-être il faut utiliser les doigts. So maybe I'll have to use my fingers, but we'll see. Okay. So I've put it in five places, but yet I have no yellow in the middle. So I'm going to have to go up to seven. J'aime être toujours uh, dans les numéros Impair. So I always like to go with odd numbers. So if I'm going to do six spots, I'm going to do another little seventh spot. Doesn't, oh, that one's not sticking down. There we go. Doesn't have to be a big spot, but set plus. Okay. Now, we're going to go into the orange. I should have paper towel here somewhere. Under your seat. Under? The, seat, the table. Over there? Yeah. yeah, but I had a small roll here too. And I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay. Got it. So I'm just going to give a quick wipe. And I'm going to take some orange and I'm going to work à côté de, de la jaune. Okay, je vais, mettre, je vais travailler à côté de le jaune. J'essaie de pas trop mélanger les couleurs. Okay, because you really want to see the difference in the colors. So I'm going to work between some of my yellows here to get my orange happening. My marigold. No, yes. I'm not sure. Is our, is our marigolds orange? Vraiment, je sais pas. So, we're doing this. And because I want it to go up about that high, and then I can pull a bit off. Okay. Donc, trois, on va faire cinq places. I don't know what that is, but it's underneath. Okay, so we're going to do some over here as well. Et je vais le faire dans le coin ici. Un touche d'orange. Okay. Voilà. Okay. J'ai mon orange. All right. So now I don't want too thin of a coat. So, there we go. That's our orange. Hmm, that's going to leave a lot of red. Je pense qu'il faut que je fasse sept places en orange. Je m'excuse encore. Mais je peux pas faire des... Je peux pas faire les chiffres pairs. I can't do even numbers. So, if I'm going to do number six, I also have to do number seven somewhere. And let's do it here. Okay, and that's just going to be a small amount. All right. Now we're going to go into our red or crimson, which is also a beautiful color. I love stencil butter. Vraiment, j'aime beaucoup le stencil butter. Je trouve c'est facile de travailler avec. J'aime les couleurs qu'ils ont choisi. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little bit of the copper penny in because I'll be using it on my butterflies, I believe. Yes. Well, maybe I'll use red. Okay. Donc, j'essaie de couvrir au complet mon pochoir parce que je veux voir mon écriture. So again, it is a script um, stencil, 
but you can it's not meant for you to be able to read it so don't try and read what it says after I take it off because it's not supposed to be legible okay now I want a little red up here okay and I'm gonna save a tiny bit of space I'm gonna put a little here because I felt there should be some okay and some here is going to continue there okay and one two three four five six okay guys we need a little other place and that's going to go down here okay and I didn't really need to use a water board, uh, a mixed media board. Mais j'aime que c'est épais. Et si j'ai voulu faire une technique aquarellable dessus, je pourrais. All right. Normally I stop at three colors. Again, it's got to do with that odd and even. Mais parce que je veux vous faire une introduction à la cuivre. Je vais ajouter un petit peu, just un petit peu dans les trous, okay? So, just to give you an introduction to the copper, et c'est vraiment une couleur d'automne, I'm just going to use a little bit here, and I'm going to my fingers because I can, okay? Because it's going to spread out easier. Okay, guys. Well, I'm getting tired of customs, well, not customs themselves, of everybody's products getting stuck everywhere. It's really making a, I want to say a mess. It's making a mess of things. Parce que quand les produits, et sont des produits d'une saison, sont pris aux douanes ou uh, sont sur un bateau qui attend de arriver à le port. So when boats are waiting to get close enough to the port to be unloaded, when um, things are getting stuck at customs, when companies can't even get the raw materials to make their products, it's really getting very very difficult for some of our little companies even the bigger companies donc quand on reçoit des produits des autres on apprécie tellement la comme ils travaillent fort pour nous autres ok moi j'aime dire toujours un merci à eux autres parce que je sais que c'est pas évident pour eux autres non plus so like you heard Tim say that his ideology also, the container got delayed. It's the same thing. So it doesn't matter if you are uh, Adventist it do, or ideology. It doesn't matter if you are um, LDRS. It doesn't matter if you're Sizzix. If your stuff is sitting in a container, it's sitting in a container. Nothing's going to change that. Donc, vraiment, vraiment, j'apprécie votre patience et le, je sais que les compagnies apprécient complètement toute notre patience. Okay, so I will tell you that every time I speak to the companies, they thank us for understanding, they explain it to us, and really, it's just as tough for them when they don't get product, at, and they're just as frustrated as we are. Okay, so keep that in mind because they really, really, I can tell you that all my companies are working really hard and they really get all the complaints when their stuff is delayed. Ils reçoivent toujours, toujours des courriels, des appels, des choses comme ça, puis il n'y a rien qu'ils peuvent faire. So I really do appreciate uh, that you understand their predicaments and uh, I guess we all adjust ourselves accordingly. Okay, so this looks like a mess and that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, ça a l'air vraiment sale et, et 
it, it just looks like je suis cinq ans, puis non, je pense même quelqu'un de cinq ans peut faire quelque chose plus propre que ça. But here goes. Do you know that if if this froze, I wouldn't even know? Okay, it's not frozen. <laughs> Hopefully somebody would call me if it froze. Who should I put in charge of that? Parce que moi, je peux pas voir les commentaires, donc si ça gèle, je vais pas savoir. So one of you guys are responsible. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside even... No, I think I'll take the stencil off first. And then I'm going to put it aside and let it dry a little bit on its own. On va chauffer si nécessaire, mais si on peut laisser juste comme tel, je vais laisser. All right, guys. So here's the thing when you use pixie spray. You got to take it off and you get what you get. Okay, so it's really quite a cool look. Jay, would you take this from me and just there. I'll put it there. Okay. I need another paper towel. And then we're going to put this aside and we're going to start on our butterflies. On va faire les papillons. Donc, je vais mettre ça à côté pour sécher un petit peu. Puis, maintenant, je vais prendre ma panneau. Where'd my panneau go? Mon petit panneau. All right. Somebody's playing a game with me. Il y avait un petit panneau ici. Je sais qu'il était là. Puis maintenant, voilà. Il est juste là. So for the panel, I'm going to take water. And I'm going to use, je vais utiliser les trois couleurs de Color Sparks. La mienne était toute alignée jaune, orange, rouge. Mais moi, je veux pas faire ça. Donc, je vais juste mélanger les couleurs. So, we are going to, um, encore, ça c'est aquarellable. It, and it comes three in a pack, okay? Donc, il y a trois dans le paquet de ceux-là. I'm just going to take this off or it's going to end up on there. Okay. J'ajoute de l'eau. I'm putting on water first. Then I'm going to put my powders and then I'm going to put water again. Okay. So, I want a, a complete mélange. Nous autres, on a fait trop propre. Moi, je trouve. Okay. Look at that color, just beautiful. Je veux saturer tout le panneau. I want to wet the whole panel. And I want to color the whole panel. So, Then I'm going to have to dry it. Just got to see where my heat tool is. Oh, it's right in front of me. Perfect. Oh, look, you see how that just marbles together? Donc, je veux pas trop mélanger parce que j'aime comme il a fait ça. And you could. You could pick it up. You can move it around. I happen to like it like this. Moi, je l'aime comme tel. So, I'll just make sure my edges are covered. And then I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay? So, really pretty. Je vais laisser comme ça. Quand je le sèche maintenant avec un séchoir, ça va, ou avec un pistolet chauffant, it's going to move it. So I'm going to hold it higher so you're going to hear it. Je m'excuse. Tu vas entendre la bruit. Mais si je vais trop proche, ça va tout bouger mes couleurs.
Après, avant que ça sèche complètement, je veux ajouter un petit peu plus de jaune ici. I don't know if we'll see it, but I just want to add because I'm finding it too orangey there. So, j'ai ajouté juste un petit peu plus de jaune. I can see it. Probablement, vous autres ne pouvez pas le voir parce que c'est juste un touche. nice and dry. Okay, so now, I don't want this to be tinted. Another new stencil, so c'est un autre nouveau pochoir qui s'en vient de the crafters workshop, que oui, j'ai commandé. Uh, my pixie spray, I put over here. So, je vais le mettre mon pixie spray encore parce que je veux que ça colle bien, mais j'espère que ça enlève pas la couleur après. Okay. So, I'm going to put this down, but I'm hoping it's not going to peel off our color after. If it does, I'll dry it and then we'll put another color. Okay. Voilà. So now, je vais utiliser le cuivre parce que j'ai utilisé toutes les autres couleurs sur, you see, it didn't stick here. Voilà. Stick. Non, ça ne veut pas coller. OK. All right. So I'll do that one first and we'll be very careful. Be very careful. Don't cook your goose. Be very careful. Don't cook your goose. OK. Donc, je mets un petit peu là. Et je mets une couche un peu plus épais. So I'm making a little bit thicker um, coat of this, okay? And I'll explain why shortly. So, there's my one butterfly. Here's my second butterfly. And already my stencil's a little messed up. Donc mes papillons vont pas être parfaits. Parce que, tu sais, moi, quand je nettoie des choses, c'est la même vitesse que quand je fais des choses. Donc, je prends moins d'attention que vous autres. So, you guys probably, you see, my, my stencil sticking up. Parce que j'ai déjà, déjà déchiré des petits morceaux de les ailes. So, I've already torn a couple of pieces of the, of the wing. So you're going to have to be a little bit more careful when you clean off your stencil than I was. But it'll still show you what I'm trying to show you. Okay, now, je l'enlève. Come on. There we go. Okay, so they look pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. So here's what we're going to do. On va chauffer notre beurre, ok? Et qu'est-ce qui arrive quand on le chauffe avec l'intention, ok? So, sometimes we just heat just to get it to dry a little quicker, but sometimes we heat it for a reason, and I'm going to show you the reason. It's called bubbling your butter. Et ça commence. You see how my butter is bubbling? So you want to get it to bubble and then let it be.
je vais vous montrer encore dans deux secondes. All right, guys. So this is called bubbling your butter. Okay? You see how it's all bubbled up? That is bubbling the butter. I think this one bubbled and fell down. Voila. Okay? So that is called bubbling the butter. Je peux aussi faire sur le fond. Mais pas, je veux pas faire tout le fond. Je peux faire juste dans certains endroits. So you see how pretty that comes out? And then when this is dry, quand cela est plus sèche ou sec, je vais le coller ici et je peux le faire ça pour suspendre ou je peux donner à quelqu'un juste comme ça. Donc si vous voulez chauffer ton butter. You can just heat it up quickly. Si tu ne fais pas le chaleur concentrée en une place, ça va pas faire les boules. So if you don't try and just heat up in one area, then it won't bubble. So I'm going to let that dry pretty much on its own. Any questions? Anybody have any questions? All right, I'm turning it back here on me. Anybody have any questions? Donc, comme j'ai dit, les trois couleurs de stencil butter sont déjà disponibles, puis le cuivre, il s'en vient. Okay, so the copper is coming. Um, but yeah, this is going to be very pretty and hang on. You see the stencil butter, how it bubbled up. I love that. See those bubbles. Isn't that cool? So lots and lots of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little technique and then thank you to the ladies who, how do you stop the butter from drying? Mm, why? Why would we want to stop the butter from drying? You mean when we're bubbling it? I'm not sure what the question is, but you do want it to dry. So, anyways, guys, I don't know. I'm, I was reading a comment, and so, Antonia, I'm not sure why you would want to stop the butter from drying, but let me know, and I'll answer your question. Oh, in the containers. I don't know. Mine, I've had mine for nine months and mine has not dried. You got to really close it tight because mine are perfectly fine. So just make sure you already, already seal it very tight. Okay. Bonsoir tout le monde. Puis à demain. J'espère que j'ai beaucoup, beaucoup de choses à vous montrer. So love you. And press and seal to the seal of the jar. Yeah, Suzanne does that too. You can put some press and seal. When am I expecting the fall ECD release? Um, the next one you're talking, not the one that I just got the Into the Woods. I have to place my order for it and then it ships pretty quickly. So I'll say about a week. Merci tout le monde. Puis à demain, quatre heures. Love you all. See you tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Bye.